Hi guys, I am back with another video and today I'm doing the next Manny for my Throwback Thursday series. And as you can see, this is the Manny that I'm going to be um, demoing for you guys today. I originally wore this in my Queen Love Box set review and a lot of you guys really liked it and were requesting a tutorial, so I'm doing that for you today. So the base that I have on this Manny is... China Glaze Let's Jam. So I'm going to be using three different polishes to create the gradient. And they're all from Mundo de Unas. And the darkest purple is Violet, which is number 14. And then the lighter shade of purple is number 60, Fantasy. And then the last color I'm using is number one white. I'm also going to be using my Uber Chic Beauty non-sticky black stamper head. And it is in my MoYu London um, holder here. I'm using my Born Pretty Store scraper. And the plate that I'm going to be using today is from Uber Chic Beauty. And if we can get it there, it's Uber Chic Beauty Plate 6-01. So this is Plate 1 of Set 6. And I'm going to be using, where is it, this image right here. And I'm just going to be stamping this image on all 10 nails. I'm not doing anything fancy, no accent nails or anything. So basically what I'm going to be doing is, is putting the um, polishes on here. I'm going to have the darkest color up at the top because that's going to be by my cuticle. Then the lighter purple in the middle and the white down here. And all I'm going to do is scrape it um, a few times just to get it to blend a little bit. And I just keep scraping until, um, until I like the way it has blended, basically. So there's my image. Very purdy. And I'm going to position this up by my cuticle and just smush it right on. So there it is. And that's basically all that I did. And a lot of people will clean their image and redo it every single time. But with an image like this, I don't have a problem just using the same polish and doing it again as long as there's enough polish on there to begin with. And there was. And it should work no problem. And there you go. So that's pretty much um, all that I did. And as you can see, there's not really much polish stuck on my skin anywhere. But whenever there is, I just use scotch tape, which is somewhere around here. I just use regular old scotch tape and I rip off a piece and this is awesome. This always works with Muna de Unas and it does work with some other polishes, um, stamping polishes. Some it works with, some it doesn't. You just have to kind of test it out and see. But anywhere that you have any stamping on your skin, you can just put the tape down and it takes it off, see? So I literally will have no acetone cleanup to do. And I think it looks pretty good. And like I said, I did put a matte top coat down. And my most favorite matte top coat, in my, in my opinion, this is the best matte top coat. It is by Wet n Wild. And it's just their basic matte top coat. Right there. And it works really well. And it only costs a dollar. I have used a couple other brands of matte top coats. And they weren't horrible or anything. But... This is only a dollar, and look how matte it gets. Can you see how matte that is? Like, it's crazy matte. And a lot of people put a, um, a glossy top coat, a fast dry top coat down first, which you can totally do that. If you're scared that you are going to smear your image or you just want the polish to dry a little bit faster, you can totally put down a quick dry top coat first. Um, this has never smeared my stamping, so I don't put a quick dry top coat down, but you totally can. So I'm just going to top coat with my matte top coat here. And I'm still being, you know, relatively gentle. Trying not to swipe over the same area more than once. 
I'm going to go ahead and let that dry a little bit and get you guys a really nice close-up here. And other than that, I think I'm all done. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, so I have given that two or three minutes just to let it completely mattify, and this is the finished result. This mani is very simple and super easy. You could totally do this with any combination of colors, any images that you like, and it's always going to look super awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you're still liking this series. Like I said before, if there are any manis that you have seen before that you really would like a tutorial for that I haven't done one for already, um, that you've seen either here on this channel featured in other videos or on my Instagram Go ahead and leave it down below and I will absolutely put that on the list for you guys And I hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please give me a thumbs up comment down below subscribe and of course come back to see me next time Bye